Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. In this video, we will hear from new Muslim American sister Lisa as she shares her hijab experience and the journey that led her to convert to Islam. Lisa's story is inspiring and sheds light on the beauty of Islam and the power of faith. Lisa was born and raised in a small town in the United States. She was brought up in a Christian family, and her parents were devout believers. However, despite their religious beliefs, Lisa always felt that something was missing. She had always been curious about Islam and its teachings, but she had never really explored it in depth. Let's listen to her story in her own words. In one word I'd have to say Christianity led me to Islam. I had such a passion for Jesus' message so I followed what he really taught, to believe in one God. When I was 19 years old I decided to take a year off of college. I did an internship at Walt Disney World during the first half of the year. I also took on a second job at night. I saved all my money and decided to use that money for travel. I've always been a very adventurous and free spirit type of girl I would and still do things that surprise my mom. I called her up and told her I was going to travel through Europe and through a friend's connection move to Morocco for a short time. It was a trip that changed my life. I wanted to go to experience a different culture but it was Islam that was left in my heart when I left that beautiful country. My experience there was much different than a normal traveler. I lived with a native Moroccan family in about 300 sq feet with a family of four. We had no hot water and no toilet. Everything that was a basic necessity to me became a luxury overnight. It changes you and makes you appreciate the basic things you have in life. However, that clearly was not related to Islam. But what I loved about my experience is the mother, who was also a widow, had so little in life compared to me and many of my American friends yet she was so devoted to her religion. It was very beautiful to see. As someone who loves and was always curious about those who were different from me, I wanted to live just like they did. So I asked to wear the abaya and hijab to fit in and to show respect. I lived with them for three months and then came home. Upon return, I finished college and went about my life. A few years later I realized I wanted to go to photography school as I knew I needed to be in a creative field. A few months into school we were given an assignment to do a two-minute documentary on whatever subject we wanted. I decided to do it in the hijab. I never really asked why women wear it, which was surprising considering I wore it myself for three months. I just looked at it as more of a cultural attire rather than religious. So to complete the documentary I called upon my really good friend Nadine, who runs Naduna, to interview. I asked very basic questions, as I didn't know much. Her answers are what inspired me to research Islam. What I didn't know was that the Bible in fact orders women to wear the hijab, Corinthians chapter 11 verse 6. My interest was sparked and I was curious to learn more. I then researched for about six months before I decided to take my shahada on July 29, 2011. When you grow up in a culture or religion you don't question why your parents live a certain way or why certain things are done. You just accept it as normal but when you're faced with tough questions as I was it causes you to think outside the box and realize that the religion that I held so near and dear to my heart was not God's true religion. The thing is that there is a misconception of today's Muslims as they think that Christians believe in three God. They don't. I was a Christian for over 20 years and never thought of the Trinity as three gods because God can be in more places and different forms at once. Where I was struck and realized that Christianity had made an error was that they believe the only way to heaven is by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and a Savior. And Jesus died for my sins. That's what I had a problem with. Why would God who is the most powerful who created me not also be able to forgive me? I then questioned why children would go to hell if Christianity was never brought to them. These were questions that Islam answered for me. I then came to know that the Bible had been changed many times as the Quran and scientifically proven has not changed since it was written. And most of what Christianity was based on was the Trinity, which was created by a man named Paul who had never even met Jesus. So after my research, it was clear to me that Islam was the final religion of God and the one I was supposed to follow. 
When I took my shahada it was the best decision I've ever made alhamdulillah. Thanks for watching. Please show your love and support by just liking and subscribing to our channel and hitting the little bell to receive notification.